What's up guys, IFBB Pro and Dragon Farmer Athlete, Yuman Eaton here. And today I'm with a very special guest and good friend of mine, Eric Leander and his assistant, Maya. So these two have done amazing things for me. I mean, I, I really cannot describe or put in the words how much work, time, and effort they have put into this prep. I mean, it, it's been unbelievable working with them, and today we're gonna give you just a little, just a little bit of what we've been doing. So we're gonna take you through a crazy leg workout, and Eric is going to explain a little bit about that because he has a lot more knowledge on the subject than me. I'm just here to train. This is the brains behind it all right here. So, Eric Leander. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Mark. Too kind. Uh, so, we're going to get together. Uh, so, in the last hundred years, with all the different things that have come about, now people were walking, riding horses. Now we're driving cars. Why has training not changed? So, we're going to show you the new changes in training today and how you can do, do more with less, get a better range of motion, recruit more muscle fiber, and make monsters like you, Mark. <laughs> so, so he's, uh, you know, we're bringing him in leaner and tighter than he's ever been before. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a direct relationship. His work ethic, of course, and his 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 uh, ability to change and recover and and move past a common thought. You know, I introduced something new to him. He said, "All right, let's try it," and it's worked tremendously. And uh, you're gonna see it come showtime. And quick side note, guys, uh, I am beyond privileged to have the ability to work with uh, my guy Eric here. I mean, this guy works with some of the highest profile athletes on the planet. I mean, Mike Tyson is one of his clients, Kurt Angle, Antonio Brown, Rashad Evans. I mean, it literally goes on and on and on. The warlord from the WWE. So, I mean, the fact that <laughs> this guy saw potential in me, took me under his wing, and, and you know, has, has showed me the time and attention that, that he has, man, like, I, I, I can't even put into words, because, I mean, I don't compare to anyone up here, but, you know, I guess I made it to the wall as well. So we got a couple pictures up here. This is a transformation right here. Yeah, we got That's pretty crazy right there. When I first started working with Eric, this is after my injury, and this was my prep last year for the Indy Pro. And uh, it's another photo of he and I right there after the Indy Pro. But um, like I said, man, I'm just, uh, you know, beyond, beyond privileged to have the opportunity to work with this guy. And um, it's it's not gonna end anytime soon. He and I are gonna end my career together. You know, I've probably got another five or six years doing this. And <laughs> as long as he's doing this, I'm gonna be one of his clients. All right, guys, so got my Mr. Vane's here. Any of you guys who follow me or uh, you know, watch any of the Dragon videos that I've been on, I know that Mr. Vane's is my favorite product. And I uh, always do the big scoop. So I definitely need that today because nine days out and people keep asking me how I'm feeling and I feel like I'm nine days out so big scoop and something really cool that I got in the mail the other day is Dragon's new El Carnitine 3000 so I tried this the other day it tastes freaking awesome and I've been using this pre-workout as well and you know throughout the day but definitely pre-workout gives me a little jump which I need right now, like I just said, being nine days out. Um, like I said, it doesn't hurt, but it tastes amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a shot of this. I'm supposed to do a tablespoon, I don't have one with me, so I'm just gonna kind of guesstimate. I'm gonna do a shot of this, take down the Mr. Vane, and we're gonna go ahead and get started today. It tastes so good. It really does, I mean, I'm actually surprised how good that tastes. El Carnitine it tends to have a, a bitter taste usually. But this is sweet, it's just delicious. All right, here we go. So, like I said, we're training legs today. Just trying to etch in and carve as much detail as possible these last few days before showtime. So. Here we go. 
What we're doing is polishing a diamond here. Just polish a diamond. It's already made. It's already there. It's already done. Work is done. Go to the range of motion. We're going to fire nerve to muscle. It does not normally fire here. So normally you're firing 35% nerve to muscle when you train. We're going to get closer to 100% uh, that nerve to muscle. Those less fired nerves, right? You everything fired. Some fire more, some fire less. We're going to give the brain new pathways to go to work. And what are you doing to give the brain new pathways to the work? You expose more muscle fiber to the workout. So that's where we're at. This not only enhances him now, this is going to enhance his future leg workouts as the brain begins to optimize and use more muscle to get the job done. Your mom was telling me a big thing now is the glutes. They want the glutes shredded. This allows us to create that mind muscle connection with wherever we place these pads. All right, here we go. So, electrodes are on. Everybody watching at home. This is so, so, so much more painful than it was. So he's gonna tie in the glutes now. Now if he had a weakness somewhere, we could also tie in that weakness. We say, okay, we wanna focus on the hamstring, we wanna focus on this event. Although you has got no weaknesses, he's ready to go. <laughs> so but the average athlete would have weaknesses and things that we wanted to fire. So Eric just looked me up, filling in the glutes, hamstrings, quads, everywhere right now. I mean, even if we didn't work out or train, my legs would blow up just from the movie. But um, this machine here is called a power runner. Uh, it's generally for uh, athletes involved in any kind of sport that requires uh, explosive activity. But he and I use it because it's, it's really good for helping with the tie-ins, the hamstrings, the glutes. It's really good for the lower quads as well. So. Uh, this is a machine that we've been using for a while now. It has helped tremendously with my glute hamstring development and also fine-tuning and etching in more lines and detail in the quad. So that's what this is right here. Yeah, this machine actually came from Yuan's backyard machine graveyard. Uh, but we brought it back to life. So you can judge it. One, two, three, four, five, six, chop, half, half, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, twelve. 9 seconds, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, done. So much harder than it looks. This machine itself is difficult. But the newbie, it's just, uh, you just turned it up. Uh, uh, you just turned it up. Fuck. He does that intermittently without telling me to shock the muscle. A muscle confusion. <sighs> muscle confusion. You know, you're training hard, you switch it up. You're training hard, you switch it up. You know, muscle doesn't want to grow that big. <laughs> you got to force it. <laughs> Just you get such a deep contraction. Fibers deep. When you train with weights in a gym normal resistance training you get that surface level of muscles to contract these are deep deep down fibers that aren't usually involved that we're just kind of like stimulating and waking up it's not something that you can do naturally i mean you need something like this to make that happen so it's it's painful That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. 11, 12, 14, 15, half five, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, one more. Opposite, let's rock. One, two, three, four, five. Nice isolation. Six, seven, eight. Finish strong, let's go. Nine, ten, last two, come on, finish strong. I'd probably do four or five there because the machine's difficult enough on its own but with the new v3 is it's really all you need and uh you're gonna head over to the buy plate next do some uh some weighted spots with the best so here we go
wrap for today. Um, as far as training goes, I'm gonna chill for a couple minutes and I'm gonna hit the sauna. But as far as training, I'm toast. That's all I got for today. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, I wanted to uh, give you a little insight into what I've been doing ways I've been training differently this prep and uh, the ways this type of training has helped my physique evolve. Big shout out to Eric and Maya for always taking care of me and welcoming me into their facility and uh, you know really helping uh, make this prep uh, my best ever. Uh, nine days I really do believe that we'll be, we'll be seeing the best package I've ever brought to the stage today. So I'm really excited for this. Uh, again, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, stay tuned for a bunch of new products Dragon Farm is gonna be releasing. Got a lot of really cool stuff coming out. I showed you the El Carnitine today. And uh, you know, I've got some more stuff dropping, so stay tuned for that. And um, you know, if you like the video, like, Hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.